now students we are going to see the third source that is the oral sources literature preserved by the oral traditions in the oral source of a history this literature is not in a written form the literature is passed by generation to generation by word of a mouth for example ovis povadas shlok abhanga etc folk songs and folk tales folk songs are sung by the generation to generation in marathi it is said as a lok sangeet folk tales means lok katha it is also in a oral form now students we are going to see sources of asian indian history asian period of indian history is from stone age to 18th century ce at that time written source was not present so we now learn this history with the help of archaeological excavations information about the asian period of 1500 bce before christ era we come to know through vedas students i want to tell you that vedas also was not in a written form first the people have the technique to memorize the vedas when they realize that vedas also can be written at that time they have they have wrote the vedas and now we can have the vedas book thus the vedas and the post vedic literature form an important source of ancient history it includes brahmanas upanishad ramayan mahabharat jain and buddhist literature plays poem stones pillar etc all these are the sources of ancient indian history let's move our last point that is precautions to be taken while writing history a written document cannot be said to be a, an authentic just because of it is old it needs to be examined or study as to whom wrote it why and when it was written the document should be cross checked a critical analysis is very important in the writing of a history history lihitana khup kaalji purvak lihayla lagte ekhadi vastu kuthe keva kadhi miali yacha khup abhyas karava lagto